It is a kind of chat. Let's talk business with Mr. Daniel Steinman and myself, Elsebi. We have been talking about uh, the economic growth uh, at 5.3% in the first quarter. We touched on mining. We touched on retail. So with all that given facts and also statements that uh, Mr. Daniel Steinman make, the question is, how can we maintain this momentum? Elsebi, if you know the answer to that question, <laughs> <laughs> you must go work. <laughs> somewhere as an advisor because you're going to earn lots of bucks <laughs> okay okay I'll, I'll look into it <laughs> that is a very valid question and that is a question being asked in many circles in Namibia right now mm, mm. what can we do to maintain this momentum to ensure that the second third and fourth quarters also post growth figures above 5% mm, mm. because you need four quarters of of 5 plus percent growth to have an annual growth of 5 percent mm. and Namibia needs 5 percent annual growth minimum to create the jobs that we are all talking about or have been talking about for five years mm, mm. you know um, so it's very important that we look at trying to to find the the sectors where we must invest in mm. so that the productivity can improve in those sectors so that they can contribute more to GDP growth. Yeah. Mining will remain very important. Mm. Retail will remain very important mm. but due to what we call a base effect mm. the the statistical impact will reduce during the course of the year mm. and let me quickly explain that the base was very low in 2021 mm -hmm. because of what I said people couldn't buy yes people postponed getting married mm. that sort of thing you know so we jumped from a low base to a higher base in 2021 mm. but even uh, from 2021 to 20. the beginning of 2022 mm -hmm. even if we maintain that same level the jump is much smaller mm -hmm. we are now on a new level yeah. and it means that we will not go to and uh, not j jump the same amount to another level another level we will sort of stabilize mm. that's what we what is a, called a base effect. Okay. Yeah? You know, so compared to 2021, every quarter will be much higher, but mm. compared to the previous quarter, you will not see that, that mm. same statistical growth. Okay. Now we get to what must be, be done. Mm. <clears throat> and I think one of the sectors with the biggest potential is so-called agri or agro industry. Okay. And that is where we take our local agricultural products and we add the value or as much value as we can, mm. we add it in Namibia. Mm. Before we sell it either locally or we export it. Mm. Because let me take a like a very practical example. Um, I've explained it to you. We produce very good, high quality processed meats. Very now, much. Processed meat is part of, of an agro industry because we take a cow and eventually she ends up in the shape of a bologna on our retail shelf with a very nice taste and flavor and everything. But if you compare our local processed meats to those that are imported from South Africa, we are roughly about three times more expensive. You know, if you if you look at the the cheapest what we call uh, liver spread the one that the hot leaf product for instance and I'm just using this as, as an, an example, example yeah. it's very nice you know mm. I love it on toast but you can buy a, a champion the mm. South African product for one third of the price mm. and why is that the reason is because Good question. yes yes that, and this is the, the point I'm trying to make mm. we've got huge potential to develop our agro industry mm. because in South Africa it is developed yeah. they produce let's say a million tons of processed meat in a year mm. and I think we will be lucky if we produce a thousand tons mm. in a year so mm. this is what what they call economies of scale mm. you know they they produce everything at such higher volumes in in such bigger quantities mm. that they don't think about how do we fill the truck between Cape Town and Johannesburg yeah. there's a thousand trucks running every day mm. and they are all full whereas with Namibia we are lucky if there are 
50, 60 trucks, mm. and often they're not even full. Yep. You know, yep. they, they have to do what they call share, share load. Mm. Not load shedding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> share, share load. Yeah. So, do you see that if we really want to maintain this growth that everybody is looking for, mm. this 5% annual growth, not yep. quarterly growth, annual, annual growth, growth, which is the magical cut-off minimum sort of mm. for us to solve our unemployment problem mm. over the long term, mm. we have to look at other industries mm. because those that we have like the mining side and the retail side, they are fairly well established given our size. Mm. They, they are in balance with the rest of the economy. Mm. But something like the agro uh, industry, there's so little of it. We, we produce so many raw goods, mm. primary goods in agriculture, yeah. but we add value to so few of them. Mm. You know, um, milk is another example. We produce a little bit of fresh milk and we produce UHT milk and a little bit of local cheese and a little bit of local um, yogurt. Yeah. But go into the supermarket and go count the number of South African Every products. products that there I are hundreds mm. of different milk-based South African mm. products and in Namibia there are four. You see, you, you can't compare the two. So this is where we need to focus. Mm. How do we take all the stuff that we produce mm. and we process them, we refine them, mm. we add the value mm. here in Namibia yeah. so that the factory is not in Goodwood mm. but in Brakwad. Yeah. And uh, with that said, uh, some piece of advice to them out there is that if you want people to choose local, look or reconsider what Mr. Daniel Steinman is indirectly telling you to do. So with uh, that said, let's go on and say goodbye, Mr. Daniel Steinman. Thank you so much once again. It's a pleasure. Okay. <laughs> and again, uh, we will be back next week, same time, same place. For me, Elsa Bidwignani, I say goodbye to you.